It's individualized. You can't stigmatize black skin. It just is what it is. My husband says something that I, I would share here. He says, you know, black is not a color. It's a hue. It says black and white are hues. The colors lie between the two hues. And so when you think about black skin, you can go as fair, as close to white as you want to be, to as close to black, like black, like these pants, <laughs> as you want to be. And it's all beautiful and it's all dynamic and it's all just like one characteristic of what blackness is to an individual. I was having a hard time myself believing that I was beautiful in my own black skin and that bothered me for the longest time. We always uh, pacify the oppressor. And what does that go back to? Slavery. Like, you know, they keep forgetting about slavery that happened 400 years ago. It's still happening now. <laughs> but, like, that's how that happens. Like, we are in this um, subservient position, and that is part of those generational curses that have just continued to follow until something switches out of that. Or we learn how to cope, you know, really. I truly wish that we all supported one another, um, good, bad, and indifferent, struggles and all, just support, no judgment, you know, and, and it's easy to judge. I, I'm sure I, I do it too, on some level, but just support, encourage, love, plant that seed of hope, because you never know, you can plant a small seed of hope and keep someone from going all the way over to the edge. It is one of the most damaging tropes about black women to say that we can't show emotion and we can't show that I don't have it right now. You know, I don't have the energy to push forward. I don't have the energy to be this like superwoman all the time. I think allowing black women that flexibility to be able to just have that downtime and then maybe be able to bounce back because that's what a human is. That's what a human is. That's a wrap, everybody. <laughs> Kiki!